Hello, everyone. Can you hear this? Can you hear this? Do you hear that? I'm Alicia Mignana. I'm from Puerto Rico, and this is the coqui. If you have been to Puerto Rico, you can hear that. But anyway, well, thank you, everybody, for coming here. This is an amazing crowd. Uh, I, I don't, you know, I don't know how many of you remember sitting in this room <laughs> as first years. Well, when I sat in this room, I was so scared. Okay, like I am right now, standing here, and uh, I remember. You know, just being a little intimidated. I had never in my life, you know, read a case. No one in my family was a lawyer. So, so I was, you know, I was a little afraid. And, you know, I, I have to say after 30 years, you know, I'm still having nightmares every now and then. <laughs> and about the bar exam too. But, you know, the other day, a friend of mine who's a therapist, I don't go to a therapist, okay? <laughs> it's a friend of mine. She told me, you know, Alicia, you have to face your fears right on. How do I do that? Well, you get up on that podium where your professors used to teach, and you do a little role play. <laughs> yes. Hmm. I have a seating chart right here. <laughs> Who should I call on? Who should I torture? Is there a, is there a Tammy Chung here? Tammy? Tammy? Tammy Chung? Miss Chung? Oh, there you are. Thank you for finally raising your hand. I have a very important question for you. If you did your review this summer of all 30 cases that we sent your way, can you please tell me the facts of the case, Penoyer versus Neff. <laughs> Tammy? Yes, please. What say ye? Very nice. You get an A++. Plus plus. And actually, as a matter of fact, you should be a judge. This is Judge Tammy Chung. Well, I am delighted to be here with you tonight to celebrate you know, our milestone reunion. Uh, I'm a little shocked, too, that it's been 30 years. I'm sure some of you are shocked, especially people who are older than me. But. All right, and actually seeing the class of 92 just makes me feel so much, yeah. You guys are youngsters, so thank you for coming here in big numbers. Um, we all received an amazing education here, and I feel so honored to, be the, to have been named the, the chair of this reunion by Dean Menunkin. Thank you so much, I'm so honored. Um, I'm very impressed with the quality of the students here. I think some of you got to meet some of them here today. So thank you for doing that. Uh, tonight we have a program called UCLA Law Insights. We are lucky to have several accomplished alumni and faculty speakers, each of whom will share fascinating talks about for about 15 minutes each on contemporary topics that are transforming our society today and will in the future. UCLA School, School of Law Dean Jennifer Manukin will introduce each of our speakers. But first, I will introduce the dean. Jennifer became a faculty member here in 2005. I had the pleasure of serving in the search committee that found uh, Dean Jennifer. And I really will uh, exhort you to come and, and say hi to her if you haven't met her yet. Um, 
She served on the faculty of the University of Virginia at Charlottesville and as a visiting professor at Harvard. In addition <laughs> to this minor business of running a top-notch law school with more than 1,000 students and 100 faculty, she's a leading researcher in the area of evidence and an award-winning teacher. She's a faculty co-director of Pulse at UCLA Law. That means the program on understanding law, science, and evidence. I think I need a course on that again. Uh, she's also the David G. Price and Dallas P. Price Professor of Law. Jennifer is bringing, and I am witness to this since I work with her here at the, at the school on the advisory board. She's an exciting new vision for UCLA Law. We are building on the school's tradition of excellence, but also seeking to ensure that entrepreneurship and a spirit of inquiry, as well as a strong sense of community, are the hallmarks of the law school. So Jennifer will tell you what we have in store for you tonight and tomorrow. Please welcome Dean Jennifer L. Minogue. Thank you, Alicia. That was fabulous. And clearly, you're good in front of the podium as a law professor. So maybe we should, we should talk about a little adjuncting here. Um, Although I don't think many of us make our uh, students stand up anymore uh, to give their answers. Uh, but we're, maybe we'll have to go back to the old ways and see, see how that feels. Um, I just want to say welcome. It's such a pleasure to see all of you here. Uh, I'm very excited for both the program that we have this evening and also for tomorrow night and uh, the reunion cocktail party and then dinner. And I do have to give a shout out to the class of 92 because they're breaking records. So, uh, so Insights, this is the second year that we're, uh, we're having this event. And I think, it's, I think you're in for a real treat. Uh, it's, this new tradition is a way to kick off Reunion Weekend. And part of it is that we want Reunion Weekend, we want it to be a chance to nourish your old, your, your old friendships, to make some new friendships. We'll try to find some, you know, some good food for you guys as well. But we also are a law school, and we want to make sure that we're nourishing your minds as well. And so we really appreciate you giving up part of your Friday evening to hear five very interesting, short, TED-like talks. We're not official, so I have to say TED-like. Um, uh, on, on very interesting topics from a mixture of our alums and our faculty, and in one case, somebody who is both our alum and our faculty. Um, and I think today, I think you're going to be in, you're, you're going to hear some extremely interesting talks on a variety of subjects. They're going to be pretty short, around 12 to 15 minutes each. And so we're hoping that they'll be zippy and that they'll be interesting. And um, that you'll get a sense of both what some of our alums are up to and also some of what's going on around the law school. I'm especially proud that two of our speakers tonight, um, I think none of you had as teachers uh, because they're fairly recent additions to our faculty. Uh, one of our faculty speakers has been here a longer period of time. And yes, he's a member of the class of 92. Um, uh, and we have a second speaker who's also a, class of, a member of the class of 92. But our other two faculty speakers, <laughs> our other two faculty speakers are on our junior faculty. And you're going to get a sense of hearing um, from some of our more recent additions to, our, to the faculty. Um, and I think you're going to see just how lucky our students are. Um, I also want to thank you for coming back for reunion. Um, it means a ton uh, to have you back here. Some of you I already know well, and you spend time at the law school, and that's fabulous. I've met others tonight who haven't set foot in our building for 15 or 20 years. And to you, I want to say especially, or, or 30 or 35 or 50 years, I want to say especially that it means a huge amount to have you joining us. I also am so pleased that so many of you volunteered to mentor our students. Raise your hand if you were a mentor this, this afternoon. Let's all give them a big round of applause. Thank you for talking to our students. 
getting to know alums is one of my favorite parts of my job, um, and al you alumni are key to our ongoing success. Um, and so if you want to get more involved and serve as mentors in other ways, those of you who are giving back philanthropically, if you'd like to be involved with our career service mentorship program or our admissions uh, uh, as a volunteer in that process, we'd love to talk to you about it. It means a, a huge amount. Now on to the main course. I'm going to tell, give you brief introductions to each of our speakers. There are also bios in your program, which of course you should look at. 